Hi everybody, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. I just want to take a second and thank all of my subscribers. Thank you for all of your support, all of your likes, all of your shares, all of your comments. If you are interested in a private reading, please just click on my website. I do have it linked below in the description bar. Lastly, I am on social media. So I am now on Facebook. If you're interested in liking my page on Facebook, please do. I am also on Instagram. And if you are interested in receiving a daily Oracle guidance message, I do draw and upload a daily Oracle guidance card every single day to my Instagram account. So if you're interested in that, then please head over and, and follow me on Instagram. Oh, and, and one last thing, um, for these general tarot forecasts, you should always be sure to watch not only your sun sign, but also your moon sign and your rising sign. If you happen to not know what your moon or rising sign are, I do have linked in the description bar below a website that actually can calculate that for you for free. So I wish you all a wonderful week. Just stay tuned for the reading. Hi Cancer, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of May 30th through June 5th. This is for Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and Cancer Rising signs. All right, Cancer, let's see. All right, Cancer, so at the bottom of the deck, I have the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles, for some of you, could be an Earth sign that's quite significant, uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, or this could be your energy, very grounded, very practical. Perhaps your focus is on your finances or, um, you know, on your job this week. Also, the Queen of Pentacles can represent a home. So maybe, um, you know, for some of you, there could be like a home situation or, um, that's quite significant. I'm actually getting home um, you know, very much. Uh, the overall energy here for the entire week is the Two of Swords. Now, the Two of Swords is a decision. Um, now, if you're making this decision, you know, definitely go within, listen to your intuition, um, you know, look to what your gut is telling you to do in regards to making a decision. And then for others, you know, this could be you receiving a decision. Um, this could be a decision about a house. There's a decision that's quite significant this week. And I feel like for many of you, you know, your, your focus is on healing. Your focus is on moving forward. Now, we're starting out with the world, which the world is a very blessed energy. The world can represent you finally maybe completing a very long chapter or cycle within your life. And the world does represent rebirth. So this is you now being able to move on to the next chapter or next cycle of your life. The world can also represent forward movement, you traveling, you moving forward. Uh, because I have the tower directly underneath the world, for some of you, you're moving to a new home with the queen of pentacles here, the world, the tower, and then I also have the four of wands here. You know, this can represent for many of you moving to a new home. Um, there, there's definitely maybe a piece of property, a building that's quite significant here. Uh, for some of you, maybe you're um, receiving that communication. Maybe it's a decision uh, that allows you to be able to maybe move to a new home. Um, and the tower is very much a neutral energy for me. It can swing in either direction. Um, it, it can represent a very significant change uh, taking place. Um, and this also can represent that building, that structure, that home. The tower can represent that sudden, unexpected energy as well coming in where things are happening quickly. 
um, or even suddenly. But I feel like for many of you, if it is that sudden energy that's coming in for you, this is something that's very positive and it's something that you want. Um, I have the King of Wands sitting directly next to the tower, which this, I feel for many of you, this is your energy where you're fiery, you're passionate, you're ambitious. Uh, this is a man who's ready to take action. This is a, a man who's ready to go for something, ready to move forward, ready to make things happen. Um, for some of you, there could be a, a fire sign person that's quite significant, a Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. But I feel like for many of you, this is your energy uh, because maybe perhaps you're waiting on this um, you know, energy to come in. You're waiting on for communication or a decision. Uh, I feel like for many Cancers, this is your energy. You're fiery, you're, you're passionate, um, and you're ambitious. I have the King of Wands with the Page of Swords sitting on top. And the Page of Swords can be uh, that communication coming through, that news or that communication. For some of you, it, it very well could be a decision coming through. So, so for some of you, you're receiving that decision um, that allows you to move forward. Um, you know, for some of you, maybe physically move um, with the world here, move towards a new beginning, move, maybe move towards a new home. For others, maybe you're simply traveling or uh, just moving forward with your life in some way. I feel like you're moving towards healing. I feel like for many of you, you've thought about this, whatever this is that you're moving towards, um, and it's and it's very positive. I feel like you're moving towards healing. We have the four of of swords here and this is a healing energy it can also be you spending some time alone or resting relaxing um, for some of you recharging your batteries this can be an energy that comes up when you are recuperating you are recharging your batteries um, perhaps maybe after going through some difficulties um, you are maybe um, healing yourself now next to the four of swords I have the ten of wands and the ten of wands can can mean having many responsibilities, having a lot on your plate. Um, you know, this can be for some of you being incredibly busy, uh, needing to maybe lighten your load. And then for others, uh, this can be a stressful energy. So if you've been dealing with some stress, you know, surrounding a home situation, we have the four of wands underneath the 10 of wands. So this can be, you know, a stressful uh, family situation. This can be a, a stressful home situation or even a marriage situation with the Four of Wands, um, something to do with your stability, your security, um, you know, the foundation from which you stand. Um, if there's been a situation or some sort of stressful energy um, around maybe a home situation or, or um, you know, something like that, this can definitely be healing coming to, you know, maybe a stressful situation. Um, I also have the Seven of Wands here. Now, the Seven of Wands can be you wanting, you know, a new home or wanting more security or stability in your life or wanting something to last for a very long time. Uh, the Seven of Wands can be that energy where you want something greatly. You want something very much. But it also can be that defensive energy. This can be you being incredibly strong, having courage, having strength, and maybe, you know, um, persevering with something, standing your ground um, with something, um, you know, ready to take on anyone or any or anything, uh, you know, to get uh, what it is that you want or to get to a certain place. Uh, the Seven of Wands can be what I call that, that warrior spirit, that warrior energy. Um, so for many of you, you want some healing. You want this very much. You want some healing. Uh, you, for some of you, you simply want a break. You want a break. Um, something attached to a home, a family situation, or something uh, to do with your security, your stability. Um, you know, because it's been stressful. So you want to heal. You want a break. Um, but I definitely see news or communication coming through. We have the Two of Swords here. This is a decision. And for some of you, because it is a general reading, and for some of you, you know, we all pass through energies at different times. So for some of you with the Tower here, this is definitely some energy coming in for you, maybe suddenly, maybe unexpectedly. For some Cancers, you know, uh, if you've been waiting on something or dealing with something for, you know, a very long period of time, time and it's been stressful, um, this can be kind of unexpected energy coming in for you uh, with the tower here. But I feel like it's very positive. Um, and with the Ten of Wands, this is a cycle. This is a cycle that's ending. So if you have been stressed out, this is a cycle that is ending. Um, 
you know, and if you are a cancer that, you know, is making a decision this week, definitely go within, definitely go within, listen to your intuition. I feel like for many of you, you are starting a new chapter. You are, um, you have some, some beautiful new beginning here, and this is you um, moving towards that, that next chapter of your life. Now, financially, I think it's going to be a great week. We have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I think financially it's going to good, be a good week. Um, but the focus here is really on, you know, either a home situation or maybe something to do with career or something to do with family. Um, and then a decision is very important this week. Healing, maybe spending some time alone, recharging your batteries. Just getting a break after dealing with, you know, this energy here. All right, some additional guidance for cancer. Okay, so I have a couple cards here, but only one flipped over. So this is the card that I want. And it's Fiona. Wonder what a wonderful card we have. Now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. Beautiful. So, you know, for some cancers, maybe you've been asking for help. Um, well, you're definitely receiving that help. You're, you're receiving that divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. So uh, keep the faith. Know that help is coming in. Know that you have, you know, that beautiful divine energy all around you. You are being divinely guided towards, you know, some beautiful new beginnings, um, some beautiful blessings. So, Cancer, um, I do hope that you enjoyed this reading, uh, and I wish you a wonderful week. Take care.